Welcome to your first week with AdWords. This short class will share some AdWords essentials and demonstrate how you can stay on track to reach your online advertising goals. Let's have a look at the agenda for this class. First, we will quickly show you how you can sign in to AdWords and what to do if you forgot your sign in details. Next, we'll show you how to build a basic AdWords campaign. Even if you have already created one, it will be useful to review what makes a successful AdWords campaign. After that, we'll take a look at how you can check that your AdWords ads are running properly. And finally, we'll go over some basic tweaks that will help you improve your AdWords performance. So, let's have a look at how you sign in to AdWords and what you can do if you forget your sign-in details. To sign into your AdWords account, visit the AdWords sign in page at adwords.google.co.uk. If you know your Google account details, you can now enter your email address and password to sign in. If you're having trouble accessing your account, you can click the provided help link. We all forget our passwords at some point. Make sure that you keep your contact details up to date in your Google account. To view or update your contact details, go to google.co.uk slash accounts and click Change Account Recovery Options. Now that we have showed you how to access your AdWords account, let's look at how to set up a basic AdWords campaign. Even if you have set one up already, this could help you improve your current campaign with your advertising goals in mind. Before you even start setting up your first AdWords campaign, think about what it is that you're actually trying to accomplish. What is your advertising goal? Is it raising awareness for your company? Would you like customers to buy your product or contact you? Do you offer special pricing or any other attractive services? Answers to these questions will help determine what you say in your ad text. So let's say that you own a shoe shop and your website offers a range of different types of shoes. You decide that you'd like to advertise men's shoes. That could be a campaign. You want to advertise both men's dress shoes and running shoes, so these could be your ad groups. Make sure that each ad group contains keywords that directly relate to your product. What words do you think your customers will use when searching for this type of product? These words could let your ad appear next to the Google search results and should be included as keywords. Now create ads that match those keywords. We recommend creating two or three different ads per ad group. That way, over time, you can test which one works best for you. Setting up your campaign this way allows your ads to show when they are most relevant to your potential customers. Also, make sure that you're targeting the right audience. Consider where your customers are located and what language they speak. Make sure that you check your location and language settings. You have set up your new AdWords campaign, but how do you know if your ads are running? We'll show you how to find out. So you've created your new campaign, and you're now wondering if your ads are actually running. Firstly, any new or edited ads will go through an approval process, which can take up to 48 hours. You can see if your ads have been approved by simply clicking on the tab Ads and then checking your ad status. If your ad has not been approved, check the disapproval reason by hovering over the question mark and then have a look at Google's advertising policies to find out what you need to change to get it approved. After your ads have been approved, you can check if the words that you selected to show your ads are working properly. To do this, go to the Campaigns tab, then click the Keywords tab, and in the Status column, hover your mouse cursor over the speech bubble. If for any reason your ad is not appearing, this is where you'll find the reason why and how to fix it quickly. 
In this particular case, the advertiser's ads are not showing every time a user searches with Google Clock, as the current campaign budget is too low. To fix this, the campaign budget would need to be adjusted by visiting the campaign settings. Once your ads have started running, you should check back the next day to see what works and what doesn't. So, let's look at some basic tweaks that can make a big difference for your AdWords account. So you've created your campaign, your ads are running, and soon you'd want to find out how you're doing. When you get back into your AdWords account, look at your campaign overview and set the time range that you're interested in. Now, when looking at some basic stats, look at how many clicks your ads received. This shows you how many times potential customers clicked your ad. Then compare this to how many times your ad appeared, your ad impressions. The CTR, or click-through rate, tells you how many times your ad was clicked as a percentage of the total amount of times it appeared, i.e., how relevant your ad was to what your customers were searching for. Looking at this row, for example, here, the advertiser received 412,835 clicks and his ads appeared 18,524,214 times. About 2% of all ads that appeared were actually clicked. Remember your advertising goals. If your goal is to generate new leads for your business, a good clicks to impressions ratio would be above 1%. An awareness campaign will have a lower ratio, as you're focusing on a high number of impressions. Let's see where you could make some minor tweaks to improve your campaign performance. In your campaign overview, click a campaign and then the Keywords tab. Let's say that your goal was to attract new customers. When looking at your basic stats again, you'll notice that some of your keywords generate more clicks on your ads than others. That is because for some search terms, your ads appear to be more relevant to users than others. Try to add some more relevant keywords by using the Keyword tool, which you can find on your Reporting and Tools tab. Once you know how your keywords performed, you can adjust your bids accordingly. A bid is the price that you are willing to pay for every time your ad is clicked. To update a keyword bid, click your current keyword bid and an editing window will appear, as shown here in this example. You could also test new ad texts to see how these affect your results. Simply click the Ads tab and select the desired ad type from the New Ad drop-down field. Tweaking and testing allows you to find the keywords and ad texts that bring you the best results while keeping an eye on your ad spend. Monitor bids for those keywords that bring you the most site visitors or clicks. And pause or delete those that aren't currently working for you, because they are either too expensive or don't bring you the expected traffic. Also, we recommend adding some negative keywords. This means that your ads won't show for search queries containing that term, which will help you reach users that are more likely to be interested in what you have to offer. Finally, we'd like to share our three tips for AdWords success with you. Firstly, to be successful with AdWords, we recommend that you visit your AdWords account on a regular basis, at least once a week. Secondly, have a look at your account stats. Being aware of what works and what doesn't is the best step towards successful advertising. And third, keep tweaking and testing. The more you test, the sooner you will get the results that you're looking for.